days a day A banner's always a coming my way Welcome back to It's a Grim Life, the daily vlog of the Grim Life Collective. Now, as you can tell, again, I am doing another daily vlog in a cemetery, let alone Oakland Cemetery, which is right down the street from where Amy and I live. Does that surprise you that, again, I am in a cemetery? It shouldn't because we love cemeteries. But I figured today would be a perfect day to show you guys Atlanta's most famous resident, the author of Gone with the Wind, Margaret Mitchell. This is her family's plot here in Oakland Cemetery. As you can see, it is pretty simple. The trees are lush. They always are, these kind of trees. I don't know what kind of trees they are. I do not know anything about plants or have you not. But these flowers, these flower bushes, are pretty bare right now and it is the middle of November and there's nothing I can really do about that. I'm sure if we came here in the spring or in the summer it would look more beautiful and more picturesque but I do kind of like the way everything looks. It has this dead kind of feel to it. It's a single, it's like a silk, it's a fake rose. It's all right, those last longer so why not? But Margaret is actually buried over on this side, on the back side of the family plot. Margaret Mitchell Marsh, born Atlanta, Georgia, November 8th, 1900, died here in Atlanta, Georgia, August 16th, 1949. 1949. And there are actually real roses here. I have never read gone with the wind myself it seemed like one of those books that was just really daunting so I never braved the countless pages I did see the movie so that must count for something right but it is pretty interesting uh, being at a famous grave standing at somebody who is well known who has done something that will last forever in history, such as Margaret Mitchell in her most famous book, Gone with the Wind. Her house that she lived in is here as well. It's over on Peachtree Street in what the city calls Midtown. Who knows, at some point we'll go take a look at it. Uh, but her final resting place is more our speed, more grim life collective. If you've read the book and seen the movie, or it's the fan of Gone with the Wind at all, or even have been here to Margaret Mitchell's grave at Oakland Cemetery. Leave a comment below telling me what you think. I thank you for watching It's a Grim Life again, and I will see you tomorrow for another edition, another episode of the daily vlog of the Grim Life Collective. They call me a calamity man but I'm trying as hard as I can To keep a bad luck away from me I'm doomed to win the die Filled with misery